Ross Dude. I'm Memory. And I'm Amy. This is the Current, Current Situation, Situation Episode 8. 8. Hi. We've been away a while. Just a week? It Ugh. feels like forever. Yeah, it's, it's been like a week. A while. Notice the new location. Yeah, we moved up to our craft room um, in response to feedback that now you won't hear the pitter-patter of little feet the whole time. Yeah. Um, the lighting's a little bit better because we can open the blinds upstairs and it's carpeted. So, not going to promise you're not going to hear the dog bark, but, you know, we're going to try it out and see what happens. Yes. Um, this past week we were away. We went to uh, my coworker and friend got married in Simpsonville, South Carolina? Yeah, yes. just outside Greenville. Just outside of Greenville. Um, so we went for the wedding on Friday evening and just decided to kind of make a pre-birthday weekend out of it. The wedding was gorgeous. Um, it was at the Ryan Nichols, Nichols, or Nicholas, Nicholson. Mm-hmm. We might have to look that up. The yeah. Ryan something. The house was gorgeous. It was an old plantation home. Yep. Um, beautiful grounds, beautiful wedding. Um, pretty much have since the day I met this lady, like two days later, she started dating this guy. So we've kind of been around the whole relationship. Yeah. So it was really nice to see them get married. Um, not so nice at work when you miss your coworker, you know. But um, it is what it is. Now they're in Italy touring the. Yes, they are. The Italy stuff. <laughs> touring the Italy stuff. Yeah, whatever they do. They're there, basking in the Tuscan sun. Yeah, they're, they're drinking they're wine, stomping grapes, eating cheese. No, that's French. That's France. <laughs> they're eating pasta. Pasta! I knew it was something. Pizza. <laughs> mm. It's been a long week. What um, can I say? So, Saturday morning we headed into Charleston. We went to um, meet up with the yes. South Carolina Stitchers group from Facebook. Um, and stupid us, let us say, we did not get a picture of us with them. We're like halfway to our friend's house. We're like, we didn't get a picture. Yeah, that was so um, like blonde moment was but next time um but hello to everyone who was there we thoroughly enjoyed meeting everyone um some other fellow floss tubers and susan who's opening fire poppies in Mm -hmm. charleston um there is a website that i'm sure amy can link yep um but we're really excited to um work with her in the future to work with her in the future oh and and who was the other uh, floss tuber was it nicole nicole nicole's needleworks yeah um, so we'll link her down below too i think the um the other lady was to Madam Ice, I think, is her floss too. We'll have to look that up. Okay. Um, but anyway, that was fun. Um, again, hey, we didn't get a picture, but hello to everybody there. Um, after that, we did some thrifting around Charleston, and the weather was crappy. Um, but did enjoy some some thrifting and hanging out with some friends that we haven't seen in a long time. They were gracious enough to open their home to us. Um, Sunday morning before we came mm-hmm. home, we just did a little driving around Charleston to see the area, and we took in Biddy and Bose. Um, yeah, show me a shirt. Get in there. Biddy and Bose, if you're not familiar, is a coffee shop in downtown Charleston, um, soon to be another location in Wilmington. Mm-hmm. Um, the brainchild of a wonderful young lady who is supporting the special needs community. So the staff and the folks that make the coffee, that run the register, um, pretty much the whole shebang all have disability, developmental disabilities of some sort. Um, shout out to Sam. Shout out to Sam who was offering free hugs to everyone who came in um, while he was waiting on your coffee mm-hmm. to brew. Just an, a wonderful experience to just see what a little bit of accommodation and adaptation of things can do for individuals with disabilities. Um, so we bought some shirts to support the cause, had some coffee and the pouring down rain. Um, But definitely worth the the trip, especially if you're in Charleston and you're on Market Street. It's one street over. I hear they have a, um, it's not a Biddy and Bose, but it's something similar that they have up, like, I think in Philly. Mm -hmm. Um, They do the same concept up there. That's what some of the guys at work were saying. It was really cool. It's a um, place I've wanted to go since I heard about it, so it was really nice to to see that. Um, Hey. Yes. Do you know how to communicate with a fish? You do not have to do... I'm a golf No. No, what? You drop it a line. <laughs> it's so cool. What kind of birds... Oh, wait, I forgot already. Wait, wait, don't, don't, wait. What do you call birds that stick together? I don't know. Bell crows. 
<laughs> Diana, those were for you. Yes. <laughs> Um, we'll get to the shout outs in a little bit, but um, you know, we have to throw By special request from our shout out, we were, um, we were told that to keep the jokes coming, so now we, it's our new thing that we have to tell a joke in right. our series at some point. So. Alright, let's talk some stitching. Yeah, th beware, this may or may not be a long video since we didn't have one last week, so yeah, we've got a little just collection keep that going. in mind. Oh, and it was my birthday. <laughs> and it was someone's um, birthday. We can do start. I should have made you wear a hat. Mm, okay, the break to go hot. When he starts. Yes. Um, so I had a few. It feels like they're not really starts because I just didn't get to show you last time, but they really are. Um, I started Blackbird Fracture from Plum Street. It looks so good. So this is, of course, what again it will look like when it's mm -hmm. done. There's a little bit of a glare. I have to get used to our new angles. Um, I'm just as pleased with how it is coming as I am when I go into the stitching frame and see it behind the shelf. Um, here is where I got to. So just the first flower done and a little bit of the bottom. It is gorgeous. I love it. This is on a 28 count lamb's wool. Is it? So I don't remember who she said the, the fabric maker was. I don't remember. Um, but it's stitching along quite nicely. I'm using all the called fours, which are gassed and. Uh, uh, there's one change you made. Yeah, one change I made. Um, when I went to buy it, they didn't have. No, the, the mascara you changed too. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten that. I changed the classic color works. They were out of wilderness, so I'm using in dive. Um, but yeah, the birds. There's so much of the birds and they're called for in mascara. I think I'm just gonna 310 those bad boys. Because you don't see a lot of variegation in mascara. Um, we know that from doing uh, mm -hmm. the, yeah, the Moonlight Witch, Witch the um, design. So I just don't want to have to spend that money for mascara when I think I can DMC it and it'll be just fine. Um, my other new start was to my birthday start. So Amy had to put in a picture of what it looks, will look like because mm -hmm. I had stitch in the model. Um, our personal. Y'all didn't get very far because if we're going to be real, it was a busy week. Oh, and you just started it yesterday. Yeah, I just started yesterday. Yesterday was my birthday, so it was my birthday start. I just started it. Um, but then we went out to dinner last night for my birthday and went to the mall, so we didn't get home till late. So this is really only yesterday. Somebody had to go get their free panties. Yeah, Victoria's <laughs> Secret, I have free panties for your birthday. Did y'all know that? <laughs> if you <laughs> signed up for their program. Right? Anyway, um, it, right now I just have... You forever, every day, you and me every day. I started in the middle and I'm going down because I really want to get to the birds. There's two <laughs> swans right here facing each other. They're so cute. Um, and they're going to be stitched in Grape Fizz, which is one of the new gas colors. Pretty excited about that. Yeah, color. I really want to work with that color. Um, so I'll probably work on this tonight just um, to get a little bit further and get some of the swans on it. Um, we did have to make some changes on the pattern I had designed. We had the letters in a different color, but it wasn't showing up on the fabric. Yeah, and they were so. looking um, they were looking very pixelated. When I mean, you could see each stretch. So we just went, decided to do it in black, and we'll see what happens. Um, but that was my two starts. What about you? you designing anything new? Yeah, my two start. Oh, not two starts. I only have one start. It's a design, but um, it's kind of been put on hold for a little bit because I got to do some other business related things. Um, the magazine is looking for some new designs, and so I started working on a, um, a snowman. I think the snowman, I think I finished. No, I gotta fix the words. Um, it's it's like a snowman, it has some wordage on it, so um, I can do like a little snippet. I'll insert a, pic, a snippet of it. Um, but that's it for me. I didn't really, well, no. Mm, 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 no, that's it. That's all. Um, it's a start finishing it. Well. It's all in one because it's been two weeks. <laughs> um, but that's it for me. That was it for you? Yep. Um, our whips. I'm still working on Naughty. naughty. Um, Y'all can start to see the finish line. The netting on this side is done. So all I have left is the netting on this side and then just to finish filling in that rope and it will be done. I think the last video or the video before I unrolled it and showed the whole piece. Mm -hmm. um, but I really want, I'm really hoping to get this finished by the end of the month. We shall see. Um, so it has really been a focus piece. 
and I'm hoping by this weekend, um, Sunday will probably be a really big stitching day because it's supposed to be rainy and yucky here. We're trying um, to decide on how to finish that one too. We're um, toying with either putting it in a frame or doing it as a wall hanging. Um, like some sort of like nautical, not really nautical, probably more like a the frame, more like a dark wood, like probably driftwood ish kind of frame or some sort of walking. I mean, it's going to be huge, so either way, we just haven't decided how we're going to finish yeah. it yet. We'll figure it out. Um, give other, us your thoughts if you uh, yeah, want to. Give us some ideas. Um, the other thing I just kind of work on here and there, I'm still working on antique cups and spoons by Shakespeare's Peddler that I picked up at market. Um, this isn't really a focus piece, it's just kind of one, I'll probably, um, some, just a little bit of prequel, we're going to be away next weekend too, so I'll probably take this one with us to um, to our trip, just because it's easy to travel. travel. It's on Picture This Plus Memory, which is one of the 2019 new fabrics, and named after me, I like to say, not really. Um, and this is one I'm stitching with the Val Donnie. Mm -hmm. Floss. Um, it's coming together. I made a spoon. It's cute. It doesn't say eight cups anymore. No, it looks crooked because of the way it's on the Q snap, but it's not really crooked, I promise. I don't know. I still can't decide if I like that floss. It's very hard. Can you tell? It's very harsh, this color. It is. You can see it. Very harsh, but we'll see when we get further on. Um, it's kind of sad that that's as far as I've gotten. It's just not really a focus piece. Um, what you working on? I did not have any whips. We have not been designing much lately because she's been stitching. Got the stitchy bug. Got the stitchy bug. Yeah? Well, why don't you show them your beautiful finish? Another one past the dust. Another one past the dust. Y'all, let me we'll wait before you show it. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday was my birthday. So Amy didn't feel well. She did some work from home. You know, and I came home from the office. This was sitting on the counter is the first thing I saw when I walked in the door. <laughs> you should really close your fingers, man. Mm -hmm. You do that. You do. See, there you go. Did I do it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is what. Alright, so you knew I was working on the piece for memory. Um, loving you um, from just because. <laughs> this card. <laughs> well, this is the one I had designed when she was sitting next to me and she had no idea that I was doing it. I can be sneaky that way. Um, I'll Stitch Anytime was one that I had done also mm -hmm. for her that I was just designing when I was sitting next to her and she had no clue what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Not a clue. She's oblivious sometimes. Um, I'm stitching. Yeah, that's what you do. So, this is the finished. Fin finished? Finished. Finished. English no. Um, finished piece. Um, so this is just a piece of wood. I picked it up at Walmart. Easy enough, right? It was supposed to go this way, but I cut the rope and I made the rope go the other way so it could hang on the wall. Um, this is just on a piece of cardboard um, with some matting, batting. God, I cannot talk today. I just realized that you cut the rope. That's what I'm back here looking at. I didn't even realize that it was supposed to go the other way. Good deal. See how good I am? You are. <laughs> no idea. Um, on, with some batting under it. Um, and this also is on a piece of cardboard. And I actually picked up this fabric at Walmart also. And this roping behind it, or by it, we got from a dead lady. Um, <laughs> it's like free estate sale. <laughs> yeah. Um, we were cleaning out, um, helping clean out someone's house. She was quote unquote a hoarder, I guess you can say. Um, we have like a whole box full of fabric in our garage um, airing out. She was a smoker. So it was kind of airing out to kind of get the smoke out because we don't smoke. And it really, really stinks. And this rope was part of it. So I was like, oh, it matches pretty well with everything. So I went ahead and did that. Anyways, so... Um, the fabric is ivory gold. You can't really see it, but there's some gold flakes in it. Uh, yeah, you can't see it. Um, that's uniform blue. I don't remember that color, and I don't remember that the color. pink is Vintage Valentine. Vintage Valentine. These are all classic color works. No, color and cotton. 
color and cotton. Except and for I think this one's caramel brownie. Yeah, I don't think the uniform blue is. The um, uniform blue, I think, is. I don't know. It's one. It's one of those ones on the wall behind us. It's uniform blue. Y'all know it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so um, as soon as I snap some good pictures of us in our photo booth, um, I will um, get this up in the shop. But for now, um, this is what we have, and it's finally finished, and it can hang up in the wall whenever it's done. And y'all, you can't see it now, but that back is on point. She is a serious stitcher. Serious. I'm telling you. Um, well, you never know who's going to finish your stu stuff. <laughs> Look, there ain't no shame in my game, y'all. This is my back. Look at that mess. That's what we didn't get when we were at Hobby Lobby. What? The beach houses. Ah! We just went to the Hobby Lobby. Hobby 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 the Lobs. I don't know if it's still dirty. Um, we sure did not. We should have gotten that. Um, I finished Beachy Mood. This is, of course, the Cricut Collection. I can't see it. Can you see it? Um, that's good. The only thing I changed really was the color of the E. It's supposed to be more white, and I changed it to... It's a yellow. It is. It's a it's a color in cotton, for sure. One of the that bread of the month. Banana is what I changed it to. Um, but it's done. I don't think I showed it before. I love the little birds. They're my favorite part. And that little crab. I think he's cute. Um, but yeah, we definitely... We found these row of, um, like, beach houses. There's, like, I think five of them. Yeah, there was five of them, yeah. And um, I, we were just going to, like, paint it white. And I was going to back this on, like, a, um, just, like, cardboard, I mm -hmm. guess. Probably with some matting because I'm all batting. I'm all about this batting stuff because <laughs> it just mm -hmm. makes it so fluffy. And it just, yeah. I don't know, it makes it look so good. And um, I just put that on there because it's beach and beach houses. Pretty cute. This is stitched on, um... <clears throat> What's it stitched on? 28 count mint. I picture this was. Um, I didn't want to do the call for it because I wanted it to have a little bit more of a beachy feel. What was the call for? The call for is um, almost like a beigey color. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, it was really light. Because when we bought this at the Stitch almost and Frame. Almost the same color. Yeah, when we bought this at the Stitch and Frame, we like knew it would be like very little margin of error. She even had a sticky on here for me that was like one and a half inch margin. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wasn't too worried about it because I knew Amy would finish it for me. Um, so that yeah. was it. We have lots of hauls and gifts. I feel like we need like a celebration. Let's see. We need like some Why? fan because we have finishes and there's no like. I have music. You're gonna put some music in there. I always put music on my finishes. Me too. Okay. I'll be Where have you that. been the last eight weeks? The dog's getting ready to bark. Yep, Cause because the neighbor is coming. Wait, how about this? Okay, I feel happy with that now. You're ready to go. Alright, anyway, what are we moving on to? Let's talk about haul. There's a lot of shit on the <laughs> stuff on the stuff. I'll start because you got a lot more than I do. Okay. Because it was my birthday. Okay, first off, we went to, we have a Lidl. I don't know if you guys know what a Lidl is. I don't know, some states might not have them or not. It's L-I-D-L. It's kind of like an Aldi, which I don't know if some people have an Aldi or not. <laughs> oh, I to explain it. <laughs> um, it's a cheap grocery store. <laughs> a cheap. For the Europeans that may or may not, Al, watch us. Um, the, it's it's a European store. It's German, right? I think German. German. I think German. Is it German or I think it's German. German? I don't remember. Anyways, so we always find little trinkets there. And we found these cute little trinky dinky things to, we could use for fish. Trinky dinky. Yeah, these are like little flowers. They're wooden, right? Yeah, these are all wood. So these are like flowers. You can't really see them. Oh, there you go. So these are like um, flowers. Fish things. They're called embellishments. We found these hearts. They were all on clearance. Yeah, they were really cheap, like 20 something cents. And these little butterflies. Never know what I uh, never know what we can find to use this stuff for. So, or we could always give them as giveaways. You never know what's going to pop up as a giveaway. So when we were in Simpson, <laughs> so what had happened was what had happened. I couldn't was, remember where we were when we, we had all this. our stuff packed for the wedding, right? So we had our, our 
fancy duds for the wedding and it was going to be nice warm weather so we packed our shorts and our capris and stuff so mm -hmm. we worked a half day Friday and then we left from work. So did work, you forget something? To work, I wore my jeans and my boots. Did you forget something? Maybe. I'm about halfway to Simpsonville. What did you forget? God awful traffic, horrible traffic. I crossed my legs in the Jeep and realized that I still had on my boots. You can't wear boots. There were hiking boots at that. Yeah, you can't wear boots with capris and shorts. The only other shoes I had were my other boots that I was wearing with my dress to the wedding. So we had to go to Target because I needed a pair of shoes to get through the weekend. Well, while I was getting shoes, Amy's in the dollar spot. <laughs> What'd you find? My favorite place in Target. Well, Target is my favorite place anyways. I found this really cool cutting board. You know what I could always finish on a cutting board that has bunny ears. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool, huh? And then I found this really cool egg. Oh, okay, there, there it goes. I can always do a beach scene on that one because it looks like the um, the driftwood stuff. You know, the shiplap. Shiplap. Yeah, you, you know what I meant. Yeah. And then we did. We found this here. We found that at the thrift shop. Yeah, here. here. I, is it? What, did we figure there. out what it was? No, we don't. Help us figure out we what don't this know thing what it is. is. We think it's a tart. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a pan. Tart shell pan thing. We don't bake. Okay, my last name is Baker, but I'm not a baker. That's some funny. My occupation does not fit my last name. Anyways, we found this little thingy, right? Does it even go that way or does it go the other way? I don't, like, I don't even know. I, we don't know what this is. It looks almost like a tart tray. Anyways, this is a, going to be a cool fit. It looks like a bottle cap. <laughs> it's metal, right? Yeah, it's metal. So it's going to be a cool finish, right? We're thinking we could paint it either white or black, and we can just put a magnet on something and this just um, magnetize it to here. Magnet it. Magnet magnetize it to here. Yeah. Not bad for two bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Like if I ever do any rounds and then I can just change them out and just always use this thing. So that was one thing we... Then we got this lovely invoice from Weeks. <laughs> <laughs> With all these happen. threads. I might put this behind them and I'll show them better. Just don't want to see the invoice. Um, all these colors. Some of these are for um, something you're working on. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get the rest of, or the last bit of my um, Mania stuff kitted up. So some of the um, projects that I'm using, I needed a couple of the flosses. But then most of the reds that you see, I got for Amy for her merman. Yeah. Um, and she's trying to like narrow this down. this fire one. Yeah. I love this one right here. Look how red that is. That's almost true to color too. I mean, it is like a Oh, it's called fire. I mean, it literally looks like fire. It's on fire. And then I like this other red one. Really good. Was it this one? Yeah. This one right here. It looks fuchsia in the thing. What's it called? Watch it be fuchsia. Nope, um, garnet. Um, but yeah, you can't really see it. It looks really... Yeah, it's not as purple. It's not but it's red. It, it's really, really, really cool. Yeah, she's trying to... Weed down some of the red colors in the tail. I thought maybe she'd have just palettes to Yeah, we just want to order some red. Let's be real. And she really doesn't want a confetti his tail. Well, well she's tired of tail. She's tired of confetting the wheel on Naughty, so. The wheel is done. Yeah. Um, God, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Um, here when we went to the thrift, I did. Usually I don't find a whole lot of stitching stuff. One time I did find a whole, um, like three boxes of um, DMC, which was fabulous. I bought yeah. all that. Um, this is just a 14 count Ada. I actually picked it up because um, I can dye it. Amy can dye it, so I like to have the I like scraps to, like that. I like to play with dyes every once in a while. Um, yeah. If I ever get a chance, I can show you all of our dyes up on the wall. Yeah, so for two bucks, it'll be something for her to play with, but nothing too exciting with that one. 
um, while we were thrifting in Charleston, we went into an antique store and mm-hmm. there was a big bucket of cross stitch patterns. God, it was huge. I mean, there's was it just one or is it two buckets? Um, there were two buckets, two different sellers. But I did pick up this one. Happy it's so cute. Everything. Can you see? It's the um, it all. it's snowman for every season. Um, it's really super cute. It was like twenty five cents. And see what year it is. I'm trying to see what. I thought it was ninety four, ninety five, ninety something. Look at the back. No. Uh, I've seen it on there. Cause we yeah, we were talking about trying to see what what year it was. Hold, please. No problem. Mm-hmm. I just want to say, you would think there would be a copyright somewhere. Like, oh yeah, 2001. Oh, I was thinking of Maybe it was another Happy one. Happy Everything, published by True Colors Publishing and Design in Big Sandy, Texas. Anyway, it's cute. I don't know if I will ever stitch it or I might stitch it in pieces. Um, I like that turkey. He's so cute. <laughs> but um, it is a, I'm going to flash it. It's a color chart. This is cute. It's very well done and it's in very good shape. Um, so I paid a quarter for that and I got a free cup of coffee and animal crackers, which I was very disappointed in because it was the circus animal crackers that are supposed to have the pink frosting on it. It's now like yogurt. I was so disappointed. It's not happy. Anyway, carry on. What else did I get? Um, because my wife is amazing. Um, this was my birthday present. It's this amazing project bag. I don't remember where it came from. Helen Bees. I'll link her down below. Yeah, we'll link her. Um, Etsy. Because I crossed it to latte on Instagram, if you didn't know that. And she said all the owl ones were ugly. Yeah, I didn't like the owl pattern ones. Um, I'm super stoked. This is my first project bag with the vinyl front. And she says, because I was going to stitch con, I had to have a real project bag so I wouldn't be embarrassed. So No Ziploc bags for her at stitch con. <laughs> but the next thing is a Ziploc bag. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, all she did, I didn't have, I, I already used these, Amy did buy me the, a bunch of these too to help with my mania organization. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm putting all my mania stuff in there. That was helpful. I dropped it. And I'm like so like right in the spot. So I can use this now and put my work in here. I'm so excited. That was cool because she's the best. The best, y'all. You'd be jealous. Um, my wonderful fr- stitchy friend Tara in Virginia. Y'all, she's so good to me. We love the Reese's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tara. It's my fave. I told her that was dinner. Every night. That's our sweet treat every night with our coffee. <laughs> um, Tara, again, we will link the L&T, or just put it down in the below. I don't think you can link a Facebook group. Can you not? We can put the name of it down there. Um, it's L and Stash. I think we might have talked uh, talked about them before, but they um, do exchanges and partners and a thread thing that I'll talk about in a bit. But Tara was my holiday partner last year, and we've stayed friends. Um, she sent me Mirabilia Snow Queen that she's been wanting forever. This is only my second Mirabilia. She first, sent you the first one too. She sent me the first one too that when I did last year surgery. when I had surgery, um, and then she sent all the called for flosses um so all i have to get is the embellishment pack because i'm pretty sure that we can find some fabric here that will work for her um but i'm super super excited i'm gonna put her in my mania rotation um and we'll see what happens thank you Tara. that was such a lovely was very sweet it was a very lovely gift it was the highlight of that afternoon and her granddaughter had decorated the um <laughs> the box that it came in it had balloons all over it was so cute she's like three or four i think um but it was so cute it was a, a happy thing to come home to in the mail um not a lot of people at work understand cross stitching but they did um they get a gift card oh tell her tell them about the lady at work <laughs> yes she said i found your boss tube channel <laughs> So I never talk bad about my job, y'all. <laughs> um, so I picked a... I should have show you Kylie's coloring book. Y'all think I'm a horrible mother. Because um, she got a bad word coloring book. Um, but I did pick up this. 365 cross-stitch designs. 
Um, it was a little pricey. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It was what twenty bucks? Yeah. Eighteen ninety nine. Um, but there's so many. Yeah, patterns but there in are. There. I mean, this is. It's one hundred and fifty pages. Yeah, it's totally and worth it. There, I mean, just to flip through, there's almost patterns on. Can't really show you a lot because they're just patterns. But there's almost patterns on every page. There's several alphabets. Um, there's a lot that address each season. Lots of smalls. I mean, they're all smalls, actually. Look at that apple. Oh, my God. And the penguin, because Amy will get mad. She can't show me anymore. Um, they're on the back. Look. Look how cute they are. Yeah, most of the stuff you can turn into mm -hmm. ornaments. You can do, like, uh, cards out of them. Yeah, well, it's there's on the front. You can do front. cards out of them. I mean, it's um, um, very cool. They had another one that was 365 um, days of flowers that was all floral patterns and they had another one that was fairies um, but I just went more generic and this has a lot of beach type scenes mm -hmm. in it and that's an alphabet that is um, beach themed that I thought was really cool which I haven't done that yet that needs to be my repertoire you know repertoire you need to get on there's a bunch in here by Emma Congdon too um, little beach oh that lighting it's really cute. And then I really like these two. These are, um, see if they show. There you go. These are Ursula Michael. It's a little bit different than what the typical Ursula Michael. There's a crab of starfish, and that's a lobster in the crack there. Um, I mean, you know, you said you have a crack. Oh, I told you today how much I love these. <laughs> um, so pick that up, and, you know, there's a lot of smalls in there as well. Um, the only other thing really to speak of, and this is kind of funny, um, I'm not going to say any names because I don't have any permission, but the L&T Floss Group, if you aren't familiar or you don't know, they do a birthday floss exchange. So basically, the month of your birthday, you send, no, my birthday is in April, right? So the people who have March birthdays are sending cards to me with floss or to mm -hmm. other people in the group and so next month in May I will send because my birthday was in April I will send floss to all the people who signed up for the exchange whose birthdays are in May mm -hmm. so essentially you just come home to random cards from wonderful strangers and they just have nice little messages and oh, look, that's so cute and they're full of just floss um, it's Ooh, just, I love those colors. Aren't this pretty? Yeah, those are two really pretty colors. That is $8.94 and $3.40. Um, yeah, I don't know any of these people, but y'all all made me smile. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to tell y'all, I'm not going to say a name again, but um, this one is from Cartersville, Georgia. And maybe you will recognize, well, don't show your address. Maybe you'll recognize that this was your stationery. And then this card, it's a beautiful card. There were, there were, there were, let me clarify, there's a beautiful skein of 3363, never have enough green, and there was a beautiful skein of DMC wool floss. Um, I had all of these sitting on the table because I was collecting them to be able to talk about it in the video before I put them all away. Well, Trouble decided that the wool floss was hers. Three times I took this floss away from her. And when I came downstairs Tuesday morning, it was in shreds all over the living room floor. So, um, Trouble thoroughly enjoyed the wool floss, and she thinks you very, very much. Um, the rest of them, we got some 436 and 437. They're just so cute. Such a happy stuff. Look at this and this little dog. See, I came home to that one day. Like, how does that not make you happy? And then you open it up, and there's like DMC in there. Like, really? Um, so this month, I am collecting to send to folks who have birthdays in May that are in the exchange. You can sign up for the exchange anytime. If you just go to the LNT D Stash group on Facebook and you click the files, um, you can sign up in there. And there's also a description and then the list of the folks who are in the group that you would send to with their addresses. So you have to be willing to at least give your address. But I mean, every day you just come home and there's just, cause I don't have any real friends y'all. I got a card from Amy and a card from my mom and a card from her mom. And then I got all of these, <laughs> these are my friends. Um, so it, it's so cute. <laughs> Somebody love me. Um, we all love you.
And I think that might be all that we had so far. Is that all that we bought? I think so. I think so. Unless we forgot something. Which is highly possible. Unless we forgot something. I think that's all of that. So we'll, um, Amy will put what the name of the group is down at the bottom. And so if anybody's interested, like I said, you can go on Facebook and check it out. Um, totally loved it. Floss tube. Floss tube. I have not had a lot of time this week. I haven't either. However, however, we did stumble upon some wonderfulness. Well, no, it's not that we stumbled upon her. She stumbled upon us. She stumbled us. upon us. And so she told us what her floss tube channel was in her comment back to us. And so I was like, all right, let me check this lady out. So I'm so glad I did because I binge watched all of her episodes when I was homesick yesterday. <laughs> Diana, you made it to the big TV in the living room. Yes. You, you graduated did. from the cell phone <laughs> to the big, big TV. Oh, I was, can I find that picture? Let me see if I can see that picture that Amy sent me. Because <laughs> it was pretty funny. It might be in my text message. Carry on. I'll so, her name is Diana. Um, I don't remember her last name. Zaslo? Zaslo? That, that could Zaslow, be correct. Um, anyways, her channel is called These Delights. Um, she is a cross-stitcher. She is a candy maker. And she is freaking fabulous. Yeah, this is a picture I get at work. Can y'all see Dee up there on the big screen? <laughs> I loved it. She's like, I got her on the big screen. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> anyways, I would totally check her out. Um, she's located down in Florida. Naples, I believe. I um, right um, she is a retired young lady. Um, but she is just fabulous to watch. Diana. Oh my gosh. Those Colonial Knot projects. Amazing. Blew me away. Like I'm looking at those and you're like, these are dollhouse rugs. Blew my mind. I'm just looking at those thousands upon thousands of French knots and little stitches. And I'm like, and, and that, that chocolate. That piece that she had hung up behind her. I think it is shown in her first, first video and I don't know the name of it. It looked like a town. A street, the Venetian piece. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. To do. I mean, she does some pretty good stuff. She does a lot of full coverage um, pieces, but they're really, really good. Um, and she's only been doing it since like the '90s, I believe. She said mid '90s. I think after she said her first husband her first had husband passed away. Um, but amazing. She does amazing, amazing work. Um, but so she's just so entertaining. She is. And when she pulled out that Bloody Mary, I knew we, her and I were going to be friends. Are you getting into? The cat's knocking over all our shipping and stuff at our farm. Um, so, granted there was not alcohol in the Bloody Mary, but I love me some Bloody Marys. Um, they don't make me sleepy, Diana. Uh, but, um, totally check her out. I will put her deets down below. Um, but check her out. She's so fun. And her videos are pretty short. They're like maybe mm -hmm. 20 to 35 minutes or so. But give her a watch. She's yeah, thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, it. really good. Thoroughly enjoyed. That. I'm waiting for her next one to come out. Um, otherwise, I didn't really have a lot of time. I finished Jessie Marie's video today. Um, I'm anxiously waiting the finish of her Stargazer, as many other people are as well. Um, I really have not had a lot of time this week. It's been busy. Well, you've yeah. also been covering for someone else while yeah, on vacation. Covering too, so. at work is just a little crazy. Um, Next week's going to be crazy, too, because we ain't going to be here. Well, we'll part we'll of the week. We'll talk about the um, store updates and shop updates. Um, there's not much in there uh, to talk about, except um, currently there is a 20% off sale going on, so hop in the store, buy it all. Do they need a code? No code. No code is already on sale. Yeah, everything's already marked down, so um, go in, buy everything you want. And you can get the other one I don't. Yeah, and um, I'm actually going to work on some new resin this weekend. Um, I bought some new stuff. I've been watching some new things. Mm -hmm. I want to experiment. Don't see what happens. Yeah, so stay tuned. Alright. Um, I think that was it. Next week, um, spring break here for the children. Mm -hmm. um, so we are going to pop out of town to the beach for a couple of days. Um, so our video again, we won't be able to film Friday because we will be at the beach. At the, ooh! I was making it like a ship. 
We're going to hit the pirates' voyage and if the beach boats and rocking don't come a knocking. Not with the children. Not when you got to share a room with the children. Um, but yeah, we'll be heading out of town on Friday. So maybe um, um, Sunday evening. We won't be home. We some Sunday evening. We can film. Well, that's what we said last time. I know. We were so tired. So tired. And it's still about the same amount of driving, too. So we probably mm-hmm. still won't. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we'll be headed out for a couple of days. But we'll get to the video as soon as we can. Um, there's no stitchy storm on the beach. Mm-hmm. Not anymore. There used to be, right? There used to be Polly's Island, but not anymore. Um... So that will be Easter. I'm old now because my birthday passed. Now Officially we're in your 40s, I've heard. Once you go past 41, they, the guy at work was saying that you're officially in your 40s. You can as, you can say, I'm in my 40s because you've experienced it a couple of years. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, but that's just what they say. Did we forget to tell them that it was Diana that wanted our jokes? So you oh yeah, Diana is the one that wanted it, so you can thank her later. Yes. Um, yes. I think that's it. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Oh lordy, are we maybe in it? I don't know what's happening. Um. Why does Waldo wear stripes? Why does what Waldo? Yeah. Why does Waldo wear stripes? I don't know. So he doesn't get spotted. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> Have a good night. Mm-hmm.